All right. There's a guy I know. I gave him $300. And I came out with six long boxes. And about two short boxes worth of books. Um, so that roughly adds up to around 2,000 comics. Um, now, if I can play my cards right, um, nothing's guaranteed, but if I can play my cards right, I might be able to double my money or come very close to it and still be able to keep certain books. Keep Because uh, there's a you know nice little healthy stack of books that I plan on keeping. Now, I won't be able to show you every book, but um, I'll show you the majority of the books that I'm keeping, okay? So, um, but I'm going to start with two books that I was really surprised to find, but I think I'm going to let go of. Um, we're starting with Flash 139, uh, first appearance of the reverse Flash, yada, yada, yada. Let's get, let's get real close on this one, just to see what's doing. Now, the majority of the books, I would say about 99% of the books are, um, are mid... I want to say mid Bronze Age to mid uh, Copper Age. So from like 76 to 87, 89, you know, just stuff like, you know, in that age range. So I was really surprised to find um, a Silver Age uh, key issue. Now this one I would say is in, uh, I want to say very good, probably very good minus condition. Um, the, the staples are intact. Thank God for that. Um, but it's I don't know it's a really really solid book and it's a nice little first appearance. So yeah, got that for what? I mean the average so two thousand bucks. Um, I mean yeah two thousand bucks three hundred dollars. So that averages to what around fifteen cents a book. So not bad for fifteen cents a book. I mean, not bad for 15 cents. Uh, the second book, another a book I was a little surprised to find in there, uh, Iron Man 55. Now, don't get it twisted. This book is this book is beat. This book is this book went quite a few rounds with uh, Tyson and Ali, but um, you know, it's still it's still very. I don't know. It's I mean it's it's in good condition, you know. Um the state but the staples are like popped in the uh in the center pages. So but I mean it's still you know it's still worth a little something though. It's still the first appearance of Thanos and you know, all that good stuff. So 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 how many times can I say so? Um, I guess the point that I'm trying to make is, although it's in really rough condition, it's still highly sellable. Okay, so these are the two books that I plan on getting rid of. Okay, so there we go. All right, now we're going to move on to the books that I'm keeping. There were, there was a, there were a really, really, really nice amount of books um, in this in this uh in these long boxes so uh, these some some money makers there's some money makers in these boxes all right let's start with uh wolverine number one um uh, yeah i mean nothing you know nothing fancy it's in probably i want to say vf condition you know I, I would say the average on these books um, probably VF minus fine plus, you know, nothing near mint really, but, um, but the, but highly presentable books you dig. So, um, yeah, Wolverine number one, 15 cents. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. This is, I believe this is my third copy, uh, and my second kind of high, higher grade copy. Uh, so nine times out of ten, if I because I plan on getting rid of those other books, uh, selling them off, uh, I have a kind of a lower grade copy of Wolverine number one that I'll probably uh, throw in that long box, you know, since since I'm upgrading. All right, now out of all the books that I uh, that I found in those long boxes, I'm gonna say that this one right here 
is the one that I'm the most happy to find. The most that just like just super thrilled, super thrilled, super thrilled to find, super thrilled to find. Uh, Weird War Tales number ninety three. Uh, first appearance of the Creature Commandos, first appearance of uh, Lieutenant Shreve. Uh, he was that character that was in uh, this past season, Arrow. But um, at, at, from the beginning of the year, this book became just so, so tough to find. Um, I won't say it's necessarily all that expensive. I want to say it's around in a really high grade, around a $20 book. Um I know I found I saw one at a convention for ten, which is a reasonable price, but the condition was just off. It was just just a re, like it just like nothing was nothing on it was sharp. There was a really severe spine roll and all that kind of stuff, and I just it was like, mm, I, I mean, ten dollars wasn't a bad price, but I'm glad I but I didn't bite, and I'm really really glad I held out because this because um. Because this book is real, I'm, I'm, it's not a nine eight, but it's a really really sharp book, and in this condition, I'm happy with it. You know, it's probably a probably a VF, you know, probably VF condition book. So yeah, really really happy to find it. Um, yeah, Weird, Weird War Tales number ninety three. Hell yeah, all the books. I'm the happiest to find this one, definitely. Okay, because because I because th the the majority the vast majority of these books I kind of already had, so you know to find one that I didn't have, really happy. All right, uh, Savage She Hulk number one. What can I say about this? Um, this is this is a still. I mean, it's you know people are catching on to this book, but I I showed this book off what about two three years ago, about yeah about eh, I want to say two years ago. And uh, I, I mentioned how severely undervalued this book is, and people are catching on to it. But it, to me, it's still, still severely undervalued. This should be like just a hundred dollar book, just off a, of, just off a of GP, just off a of general principle. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Savage She Hulk number one, uh, Inhumans number one. Um, yeah, yeah. Now this the condition on it is probably a fine I, I would say an outright fine condition book, you know, so and humans number one, yeah, we're gonna probably just run right through these because there's like quite a few books. Uh and humans number one. Well, how much does this book go for though? I don't know. I remember like at the beginning of the year this book was going for like, I don't know. It was going for a lot. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, Shazam number one. Here's my second copy of Shazam number one. Um, it's in eh, probably uh, fine plus VF minus condition. It's it's pretty white. You know, it's not it's not white supremacist worthy white, but it's white enough. But yeah, yeah, that's all good. Captain Marvel number one, second copy. Uh, what if number ten? Now this book, uh, what last month? This book got real hot. It was revealed that um, Jane Foster was the Thor in the uh, current comic book. Excuse me. <coughs> oh shoot. Oh, bless me. Uh, but uh, what what was I saying? Jane Foster is the current Thor, so this book like really really jumped up in price. So. And I was looking for a second copy, one that was in better condition than the one I had. And I think this one, I think, yeah, I think this one is in a little bit better condition. So, yeah. Uh, what if number 10, Jane Foster, Thor, yada, yada, yada. All right. Okay. Uh, Fire, Fear, uh, yeah, Firestorm, the Nuclear Man, number three. Uh, first appearance of Killer Frost. I know this book is really, really... This book got real popular real quick. Um, Fury of Firestorm number uh, Firestorm the Nuclear Man number one is in there, but I think I'm gonna let go of that one. But I'm gonna keep number three. Um, that number one was kind of because I have two other high grade copies already, so I'm just gonna let go of that one. But I'm gonna keep uh, number three. Um, ooh, here's a really really cool book. I tell you what, let's move. Let's go with let's go with this book. 
Let's go with these books. X Factor, number six, first appearance of Apocalypse. Um, I noticed with a lot of copies of X Factor, number six, you see that little, that little thing right there in the top corner? I noticed that with quite a few copies of um with this book um but hey i'm fine with it it's x factor number six it was 15 cents um i would say this is probably a probably a fine plus vf minus copy uh, x factor number five first cameo appearance of apocalypse uh, what, we, what else here x factor number 24 first appearance of uh first full appearance of archangel ah now here's the book here's the book right here awesome looking book uh the punisher number one hell yeah um mike zek from the uh the first mini series I, I think this book is kind of this kind of sort of kind of gaining in price sort of kind of I know for a while it's it was kind of, it, it, it's it's remained a twenty dollar book in really high grade for like the longest time, but I think that might be changing. But uh, how how awesome is this cover? It's probably one of the to me, in my opinion, probably one of the top comic book covers because this but to me this book this cover just totally ca like just captures my imagination. I love this cover so much. Mike Zek on the Mike Zek just totally owned the Punisher. God. Love his cover, man. Love his cover, man. Yeah. All right, we're moving along with ooh, here we go. Avengers one ninety six. Uh, how many copies? How many copies did this this make? Uh, probably uh, this has to be my third copy of a uh, one nine, either third or fourth copy of one ninety six. So yeah, okay, it's all good. I mean, listen, having multiple copies of books, it's uh, for me, it's. Not necessarily for hoarding purposes. It's more for trading. You know what I'm saying? If there's a book that I just got to have, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, why not, you know, if I if I can make some trades, uh, sell, you know, multiple copies of key issues and or not necessarily sell, but trade multiple copies of key issues to get that one book, one or two or maybe even three books that I want. Why not? Why not stockpile? A bunch of key issues, you know, in order for trade purposes. Uh, Avengers 195, first cameo appearance of the uh, Taskmaster. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you, this is a, it was a lot of key issues in this uh, in this pile of books. Uh, Howard the Duck, number one. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one or, get, or, or sell it off. I don't know. Because... <clears throat> Because what I plan on doing is uh, taking them up. Because I don't, I don't even have a buyer lined up. Um, probably take it up to the store that I sold off that last um, bunch of books to, um, and see if I can see what see what I can do. Now, probably I would, um, you know, because I want to, because because there were still some key issues there that I already had. So I'm going to leave that um, in that pile of books that I plan on selling to, you know, kind of sweeten the pot a little bit. And I don't know if I'm going to leave, leave this one behind or not. I don't know. I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oh, here we go. First appearance of the modern suicide squad legends. Number three. <laughs> yes. Oh, 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 look at you. Look at you. I'm definitely keeping you. Definitely. For reals, for reals, keeping you. I am for show keeping you. Uh, New Teen Titans number two. Now, this is my second copy. And I would say about two or three years ago, I sold off um, I sold off a copy. So that basically left me with one. And uh, I was like, I don't know. I was totally regretting it. And I was like, you know, in the market for a copy, but now this book is kind of, I, I don't want to say it's out of reach, but it's more than what I want to pay for it. More than what what I wanted to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, when this, because this one popped up, because when I got the books home, because, you know, I looked through them before I got them home. 
but I didn't notice this one. And then like towards the end, because it took me two hours to kind of go through all those books. And nine times out of ten, I'm going to go through them again just to, you know, make sure of what I'm getting rid of. But uh, but towards the end, there was this one box that I don't even think I was going to like look through. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, eh, these are these look like all junkers. But I looked through them anyway, and this was there. And this one is really, really bright. Uh, I would I would give this about a VF. Uh, yeah, about a VF. Well, probably maybe a seven five at the at a seven, maybe a seven five at the least. But this book is really, really bright. Nice little nice candidate for pressing, though. I do have to say. So I have my so I have a second copy of uh, New Teen Titans number two. So yeah, really happy to find this book. Like super, super happy. I'm really, I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. Okay. Uh, DC Comics Presents number 26. Uh, first, first appearance of the New Teen Titans. First appearance of Starfire. First appearance of Raven. First appearance of Cyborg. So yeah, this book is like... I know um, they announced uh, they were making a Teen Titans uh, TV show. So, yeah. So, this is my... How many copies of this make it? My fourth? Now, the rule was, if I had a cop, if I had the copy already, uh, throw it in the pile of books to get rid of. But, but, you know, you have to make, you have to make certain exceptions. I really don't want to get rid of this one, so... Yeah, I'm definitely keeping this one. I don't want to get rid of this one, so but we'll see. Yeah, but yeah, DC Comics presents number twenty six, first appearance of the New Teen Titans. Okay, now here are two books here. Um, I tell you what, I'm gonna show you a book that I found that I thought was a little bit interesting. <clears throat> Amazing Man, number twelve. I have no clue what Amazing Man is. I never even heard of it before. But um, the one thing I thought that was interesting is that we have um, kind of a rare appearance of the Dark Knight version of Batman, drawn by Frank Miller on the cover, and with Carrie Kelly um, outside of outside of the Dark Knight. You know what I'm saying? Outside of the Dark Knight Returns title. So I don't know. I thought that was interesting. I know this book really doesn't go for anything, but I don't know. Like I said, it was interesting. So yeah. Amazing Man number 12. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. We're moving along with uh, Ghost Rider number 81. This book really doesn't go for anything, but I know this was a book that I was looking for just because... Just because... Did you just hear me burp? Uh, <laughs> just because uh, uh, it's the final issue in the series. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, now, here's a book that is severely, 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 severely severely undervalued um justice league of america number 140 first appearance of the manhunters so yeah I, i've actually been looking for this book but i kind of run one it didn't want to pay like ten dollars for a copy you know what i'm saying just because like it's undervalued but at the same time i didn't want to overpay for it so yeah uh justice league of america 140 all right. Now there was a really, really healthy run of X Men, like you know, I, I want to, you know, like John Byrne version of X Men. So we'll start with uh, one oh seven. Uh, first appearance of Gladiator. First appearance of man, it's a bunch. It's actually a, it's a bunch of first appearances in uh, X Men one oh seven. Uh, X Men one ten. Now these are actually pretty tough to find at a rec at, at a decent price. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the, and I would say that the condition on these books are about I would say VF minus condition. Uh, X Men 113. Uh, the Uncanny X Men 115. Uh, ba -ba -ba. 116 Uncanny X-Men 117 uh, 118 first appearance of Mariko Wolverine's main squeeze uh 121 
uh, first full appearance of Alpha Flight, uh, 122. Like, like the majority of these X-Men books I didn't have, so I'm definitely keeping these. And like I said, like really tough to find at a decent price. Uh, 123. Okay, 124. Now, this one here. <clears throat> now, I was at a shop a couple of months ago. And like I asked the guy, because I saw this and it looked kind of interesting. I'm like, okay, how much is that one? He's like, oh, $20, 20 25 or something like that. And I'm like, what? Why? And he goes, oh, this is the first appearance of Colossus as the proletariat. And I'm like, who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, eh. So I'm happy that this was in this pile of books. I'm really, really happy. Okay, X-Men number 128. I was dead for some reason... This book is like, I don't know, I, I think sellers have their head up their ass when it comes to this, to the price of this book, because I'm like, yeah, 35 bucks, nah, nah, I'm good. So, found it for 15 cents, yeah! Uh, X-Men 121, first appearance of Mr. Sinister, I don't know, man. <clears throat> this book, I, I, I keep running into this book all the time. Alright, yeah, what is this? Plastic Man. Now, th another uh, first, <clears throat> not, not a first appearance, but another, um, another, what's the word I'm looking for? Another Silver Age um, book. I know this book really, really doesn't go for anything. Like, this book is really, uh, this. well, it is the first appearance of, it's Plastic Man number one from 1966. Um, it's the first appearance of the Silver Age Plastic Man. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, and, and on top of that, this is probably one of the nicest condition books in, like, from out of all any of these long boxes. So, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I really don't know what to say. I just want to show these books. Shit. All right. Booster Gold, number one. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's go with this book. Uh, Detective Comics number uh, 583. Uh, this is the first appearance of Scarface and the Ventriloquist. Now, this book um, is going for around, and really high grade is going for around 20, about 20 to 25. So, yeah, this is, do believe this is my, has to be either the second or third copy of this. I'm pretty sure this is like my third or fourth i don't know the condition is a little wonky on it so i might get rid of it i might sell it off so i don't know and we have P peter parker spectacular spider-man number 27 um first uh frank miller on daredevil first frank miller daredevil so yeah yeah okay now those are the books that uh i plan on keeping uh i'll tell you what let's go through some some more books that aren't necessarily bagged or boarded. It's a really healthy pile here. Let's see what's going on. Um, Teen Titans Annual number two, because these things are gonna fall. These things are gonna fall over. Um, first appearance of Vigilante. Uh, Secret Origins number fourteen, um, featuring the Suicide Squad. I don't know. I really do think. <clears throat> I remember for a time. That um, around around the time that that Suicide Squad movie was announced, like this book was like a fifty dollar book at one point. So um, I don't know. I think it has the potential to kind of rise in value again because it, it dropped like a rock to like you know probably not even a five dollar book now. But if if you can find it cheap, I would definitely buy it just because. Uh, Batman and the Outsiders number one, Animal Man number one. Ah, uh, the rest of that Wolverine miniseries. You got two, three, and four. Um, Avengers 232. Uh, for, I believe this is the first appearance of Star Fox. Um, I don't know. Yeah. It's not worth anything, but it's good to have in the long run, I think. Uh, Punisher number two. Punisher number three. Uh, Teen Titans Spotlight. Uh, number 14, I remember for a time that this book was really, really tough to find. Now, this is the first time that uh, Nightwing meets Batman. 
you know, not no, you know, of course not the first, not of course not the first time that Dick Grayson meets uh, Batman, but uh, him as Nightwing meets Batman. So yeah, yeah. Uh, Green Arrow, Longbow Hunters, number one and two. Uh, Howard the Duck, number twelve and thirteen. Um, <clears throat> Daredevil, one seventy. And 171. I don't know what the hell is going on. I cannot find a decent grade on 170 and 171 at all. Every copy that I've come across is like, I, I don't know, I'm really trying to find like a really high grade copy, but it's like damn near impossible to find. But I'm happy with these two for the time being, so I'll just hold on to them. Uh, we have Batman, Death in the Family, uh, 126. 127 and 128 we're just moving along um uh spider-man there was a really nice you know some a healthy run of uh of mcfarland spider-man issues i do have to say uh no 300 was in there but these are in decent enough condition and, and the majority of these i don't have so i'll probably hold on to them um what is this uh 315, 319, 318, 317, uh, 320. Uh, here we go with uh, Craven's Last Stand, uh, 294, 293. And here's some Batman issues that I didn't have, so I think I might hold on to these. Uh, what is this? Uh, 354. 431, uh, Detective, uh, 515, Batman, uh, 336, uh, I think I might get rid of this one because I have this one, Batman 330, uh, what is this one, 337, Batman 339, uh, 346, this is garbage time right here. Uh, you can tune out at any time. <clears throat> I'm just showing off. Just showing off books. That's all. Nothing major. No major key issues here. Uh, 432 Batman. Uh, and these aren't even in order either. Uh, Batman 310. Uh, first appearance of Firebug. Uh, number 318. I think I might get rid of this one. Because I already have two high grade copies of that one. Uh, what is this? Batman, uh, 323, 324, uh, what is this? 325, 329, I believe I might get rid of this one too. Uh, Brave and the Bold, 159, yeah, I'll do that because I already have a copy. Um, what is this? Uh, Batman, 343, Batman, 434. Batman 351. Wow, these things are really, really not in order. But uh, 482. Batman 515. Do I have this one or not? I really don't know. I guess I have to search and see. Um, Batman... No, this is Detective 567. Detective 498. I'm pretty sure I, got, I have this one too. I don't know. We'll see. And what is this one? Uh, Detective four four ninety seven. Let's see. Let's go through some more books. I got more. I got more. Damn it. I tote. I totes have more. <laughs> uh, grew number one. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was interesting to have. I don't really. I'm not quite sure if it really goes for anything, but eh. I'll hold on to that one. Uh, Justice League of America, number 27 from 1989. Nice little kind of an exorcist, exorcist cover. Um, Captain Marvel, number 59, featuring Drax the Destroyer. Definitely holding on to this one, Dazzler, number one, because I don't have this one. Um, Elektra, number two. It's the first appearance of a character from Elektra's world. So I forget the name. Um, an, a Mongol appearance, uh, Superman number 32. It doesn't go for anything, but I'll hold on to it. 
I might keep this one uh, man thing number one. I don't know. I mean, you know what? I already have. I think I already have a man thing number one. I, I might get rid of that one. Um, Brave and the Bold number two hundred. I don't know. First appearance of Katana. I don't know. This book to me is really, really, really undervalued. This book like really jumped in price, you know, for a while. But I don't know. It's kind of. I don't know. Kind of remained stagnant for a while. I don't know. Uh, uh, what is this? DC Comics Presents number 49. I don't know. I think I might sell this one off. Uh, X Men 126. I'm still debating on whether to keep these or not. Um, I already have copies of them, but I don't know. I think they're good to have. This one is in really nice shape. And the last one I bought, and when I, I went to a store and I paid $15 for a copy of 126, I should have just held out. Shit. But eh, what are you going to do? Now, this one needs pressing really bad really badly uh new teen titans number one i might get rid of it i don't know uh moon knight number one i think i might keep that one uh, uh marvel tales number 137 reprints uh amazing fantasy number 15 definitely i should probably keep that one uh here we go with captain marvel number 61 and 62 the final issues of the series Um, Dr. Fate number one. Now, I'm holding on to this one because it really doesn't go for anything, but I remember the first time I ever walked into a comic book store. Ever. This was back in 1989. I think I was like 11. Um, I saw this book here and I bought it. Now, I'm thinking back to being in, to it being 1989 and me being at a comic book store and I pick up this and but hey what are you gonna do nostalgia's sake uh, all right uh, Hawk and Dove number one uh, first appearance of the female version of no this is number two the first full appearance of um, the female version of uh, of Dove. Uh, Hawk and Dove number one, Web of Spider Man number uh, thirty one, uh, Craven's Last Hunt or something or is it? I I think, I think I don't know. Um, All Star Squadron number one. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, Action Comics number uh, five ninety five. First appearance of the Silver Banshee. I don't know. I think I might hold on to it just because it really doesn't go for anything and it's not really all that, you know, it, it, it really wouldn't sweeten the pot if I included the book. So I, I will just hold on to it. Um, an, er, an early appearance of a uh, Silver Banshee. I think this might be the second appearance of Silver Banshee. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Uh, Hawk and Dove number one from 1989. I mean, I guess I'll hold on to it. Aquaman number one from 1986. Uh, Silver Surfer number one from 1982. Um, what is this? Uh, first appearance of Captain Carrot. I don't know. Dude, I was like search, like going nuts trying to find this book a few months ago. I remember. And here's one. Nice, re nice really good looking copy too. Uh what if uh spider-man rescued gwen stacy i remember like i think just like maybe a couple months ago this book was like around 20 bucks so i don't know maybe i probably hold on to it uh action comics number 544 first appearance of um lex luther's armor power armor and the uh first appearance of the robotic brainiac um, I believe I'll hold on to these. Um, Fantastic Four, number 158 and 159. I don't know. I think I'm, I, I might hold on to them. Why not? Um, here we go with uh, uh, Web of Spider-Man, number 32. Oh, some more X-Factor. Uh, number 25. Number 23. Number 22. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, number 17, first appearance of Richter. First appearance of Richter in X Factor number seventeen. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna hold on. I think I have a I have a high grade copy of this already, or a decent grade copy of this. Uh, Daredevil one seventy six. I might let that one go. Uh, one seventy five. I might let this one go too. Eh, I 
probably. Daredevil number 172. I don't know, it's a cool cover, and I don't have it. And Daredevil 182. Okay. Is that is that it? Is that it? And and here's the pile of books that I thought I was gonna keep, but I'm probably gonna sell off, so. I, do we have time to look through these? Eh, I don't think so. I don't. I don't think so. Do you want to look through them? Do you want to look through them? Do you want to look through them? Do you want to look through some more comics with me? Yeah. Let's do a few. Let's do a few. Hell with it. Screw it. Okay. Uh, you seen these? I'll tell you what, here's some more books I might get rid of. Uh, Batman, 417, First Appearance of KG Beast. Um, it's a really, uh, really high-grade book, too. Um, another kind of VF copy, um, New Mutants, number one. Ever since they announced that movie, I've been finding these things all over the place. It's crazy. It's crazy! Um, X-Men, 120. Now, these are the books that I'm uh, planning on selling off. Or getting rid of, because I'm, I'm not going to go the eBay route, but I'm probably just going to take it to a shop or something like that and see what they offer me. Um, and, and there's still about a thousand more down in the basement that, you know, I'm, I'm not going to bring up. But, yeah. Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, now this is the first appearance of Proteus, X-Men 125. Um, Avengers Annual number 10. Now, the only reason why I don't hold on to this one is that there's like a little water stain right in the corner. So I'm just like, eh, let me get rid of it. Uh, Machine Man number 19, first appearance of, um, first appearance of Jack O'Lantern. Now, this is like a, like I paid, like a few months ago, I paid $15 for a book, for that book. Shit, I should have held out. Um, Machine Man number 18. Uh, they're both in really high grade. They look good. Um, Devil Dinosaur number one, uh, Marvel Team Up, Annual number one, first meeting of the all new, all different X Men and Spider Man, first appearance of Tombstone, um, Web of Spider Man number 38, Daredevil number 200, I'll probably get rid of, um, Daredevil, ba ba ba, whatever that is, that book, that book, this book. Daredevil 174, I believe this is the first appearance of Stick. The only reason why I don't hold on to it, because it has like a little stain in the corner. Uh, Daredevil 166, 165, and I think that's, I think that's good. Some more, some ROM Space Knight, Action Comics, 521, uh, what is this, what do we have here? Oh, here's that. That, those copies of that copy of uh, Firestorm, Nuclear Man number one. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell that off. Uh, Batman, uh, three twenty one. Uh, ba -ba. oh, uh, Spectacular Spider Man number uh, sixty four. Uh, Daredevil one fifty eight. First uh, Frank Miller on the Daredevil title. Mister Miracle number one. Oh, here's Plastic Man number two. I think I'm gonna hold on to that one just because. I'm going to put that in the bag and board. And what is this? Batman 340. I think I'm going to hold on to that one. So, yeah. All right. We're done. So, that was a long-ass video, but we got through a lot of books. And there, and that's not even half the amount of books that I ha still have. That's not even half the amount. Ah, okay, got, this, video's, this video has run long enough. So, I'll see you next time. And thanks for watching. All right. Bye.